Hello, my name is Lucy and I'm from Higher Horizons based at the University of Chester Hub. Today we're just going to do a short session on mock interviews. Uh, so we're very quickly going to help you help you be able to identify what makes a good interview, what makes a bad interview, the do's and the don'ts, but also looking at interviews nowadays where it could be over Skype virtually as well as interviews in person. They all kind of have the same rules. Uh, so some of those rules, what makes a good interview? Smart dress code, what a dress for the occasion. Again, even if you are doing an interview over Skype uh, or any other platforms, online interviews, you do need to be dressed appropriately and to you know, just to impress them. Uh, but also, again, if you're having an interview in person, that again is really important. We want to get across that you're professional uh, and you dress appropriately and yeah just dress smartly arriving early again this could work virtually and in real life so virtually there might be a meeting set up on skype or on zoom uh, make sure you're there a few minutes early uh, just so you show that you're keen and you're willing and again that absolutely um, is what you should do in interviews where it's person to person i always try and arrive around 15 minutes before uh, the interview starts just again you sh you're showing say if there's a receptionist the receptionists are making notes on you as well as the interviewer uh, the interviewer might ask what time did they arrive and they say they arrived 15 minutes early they were studying notes in the waiting room not on their phone waiting for their interview so it's always there's so much just from arriving early Handshake and eye contact, again, not something that we, well, the handshake side anyway, it's not something we can do at the moment on lockdown, uh, but definitely eye contact. If you're doing a virtual interview, try and look into the camera as much as you can, to try and look away as much. You want to engage with that interviewer uh, and show that you're interested and you're listening to what they're saying, so a bit of active listening just by looking at them. And again, this works face to face. You have to show you're listening to them and that comes across of eye contact. Eye contact can be a bit awkward. Uh, you are allowed to blink. It doesn't have to be a, a, a stare because that might creep them out actually. So just be as natural as you can. Look at them as much as you can. And yeah, just that goes with your body language. You have to show that you're interested. So looking around, looking at the time or just not looking bothered. You know, you there because you want that job. The interviewer wants to give you that job. But they need to show that, you you know, through an interview, show that you're a good person. You know how to answer these things. Uh, it's just a process that everyone has to go through. So show willing. If you want that job, show it through your body language. You can show so much. Even by not saying anything, your body language is saying a lot already. Yeah, try and be as confident as you can about speaking about yourself in positive ways, about all these wonderful skills that you have and wonderful things that you're doing that makes you a really great person. And that's it. They want to know who you are. So get that across. Talk, prepare yourself to talk about yourself in a really positive way. Uh, and yeah, show all those skills that you have. Always prepare a question. I'd say that's quite a key one, especially that's personal, is a key thing. At the end of an interview, they will ask you, do you have any questions for us? Even if you already maybe know half of the answer, ask the question. Again, it shows that you're willing, shows that you're keen, shows that you're interested in the role, you're interested in them and you want to know more. So always prepare a question. And yeah, research. So Google the company, how long, you could ask yourself these questions, how long has the company been running? Have they won any awards? You could bring that up, a little sly uh, remark to bring that up and they'd be really impressed with that. Uh, look if there's any articles, anything that they've done recently in the news, uh, any YouTube videos that you have, you can reference them just very subtly within an interview and they'd be really impressed with that. But also you've got to research the job role. You have to know what you're stepping into and what you're interviewing for. Do you know what the working hours are? You need to know those expectations. The wage, do you know what that is? Uh, it's always an awkward question to ask about money, but you need to know these things. Is it a job where you're going to be able to afford to pay bills or to maybe just help you prepare for university or help you 
alongside college, you need to know how much you are going to get paid. Are there any benefits to the job? And also weekend working. Have you looked into that? Will you have to be working weekends? Is it evening work? Is it unsocial hours? Um, and also on some applications, they'll say, email this person if you want to find out more about the job. And I say, absolutely do it. Again, anything that you can do to show that you're uh, really keen and you're willing. But also, it's putting your name on a piece of paper and they could they highlight that name like oh they asked they asked us a question there and you're already getting the interview starts say when you're asking questions over an email they will remember you so i'd say it's quite a good thing yes interviews can be stressful but look at it as a two-way process so yes they are interviewing you they're making notes on you but also Look at it as you're interviewing them. Is it the right place for you? You're taking notes in your head. Is this somewhere that I could work? Is this the right environment for me? Can I work with a small team? Can I work with a larger team? So you're making the decisions about that job as well as they're making decisions about you. So maybe that could help a little bit with relieving some stress because it is a two way process. OK, we've got an activity now. I want you to go and get a pen and paper and I'm, we're going to show you a video. Uh, there's two interviews on this video. It's only a short video, around eight minutes long. Uh, and I want you to make notes on what was good about the interview, what was bad about the interview. Is there anything that they could improve on? But also you want to make notes because this is all about you. How would you answer those questions? They're very typical interview questions. Make a note in your head, make notes, have a look at your CV if you've written one and think, what would I say for that question? And what skills have I got that I could bring to the table to help answer those questions? OK, so uh, press play on the video now and I shall see you soon. Uh, good morning, Lucy, is it? Hi, yes, it is. Thank you very much for seeing me today. Uh, no problem. I'm Lewis. So I'll be interviewing you today. So can we start things off with you telling me a little bit about yourself, please? Yeah, so I'm just finishing off my college courses at the moment. I'm doing some A-levels. They're going really well. Uh, I live at home with my family. I have a big family of animals, uh, and I like to take care of them as well. Uh, also, um, when it was the coronavirus lockdown, when we were all stuck inside, uh, I decided to volunteer as a supermarket volunteer. So I go and deliver food packages to vulnerable people. So I just like to put myself out there and seek opportunities uh, that I know will benefit others, but also benefit myself as well. That's great. That's a great thing you did. Um, thank God coronavirus is over, eh? Yes. Uh, so why should we hire you? Uh, well, I'd say that I'm well, I'm pretty hardworking. I'm doing really well on my A-levels. Uh, I'm a good communicator. So I'm also captain of the sports teams as well. So I can work in a team, but also work independently. And yes, I'm a really good team player. I can... Yeah, and a good communicator. Sorry. That's great. So uh, what's your greatest strength? Uh, I'd say probably maintaining positivity. So there's been a few assessments, obviously, uh, as you may or may not know, going to college can be quite stressful. We have presentations and assessments to do. Uh, so I think I'm quite a good person who's a good team leader, good for bringing up team morale, uh, getting a really positive uh, platform and then we can work together to deliver a really good presentation or assessment it was a presentation that example but yeah so I think I'm a, a good team player team leader and positive okay so what about your greatest weakness it's something I'm working on uh, but like I say I, I am a, a good team leader and I work with teams but I think for myself it I could be better at delegating tasks to other people um, just to relieve myself from stress, but also to show other people that I trust that they can do a really good job. It's something I'm working on uh, and it's something that I'm, I'm getting better at, but it's definitely something that I can focus more on. Mm -hmm. So what are your salary expectations in the job? Well, I did. the job, job description was pretty clear. I was uh, uh, My expectations, well, I know my expectations from reading that job and that's why I applied and obviously... Thank you for taking me to interview level. But I think I know the expectations of the job um, and the salary. Yes, I'll support my studies. 
uh, as I move to university and it will it will do me well and hopefully I can progress as well and grow within your company. Okay, so why do you want the job? Um, well, yes, yeah, so I am moving to university. That's why I have to leave my uh, current post um, as my part-time job at college. Uh, but I just want to support my studies, uh, help give me some extra money whilst I'm at university. But also I want to learn skills that I can use within my degree and, and hopefully learn skills within my degree that I can bring to the workplace as well and just develop myself into a more rounded person. Okay, great. So how do you handle stress and pressure? Um, so there's only been a few, I haven't had too much stress or pressure, pressure so far in my life, uh, luckily, uh, but I was team captain of the sports teams um, and it doesn't matter if we win or lose a game, it's about keeping that positivity, but also playing to our best and being able to play under pressure uh, and feeling satisfied and succeeding within ourselves. It doesn't matter if we succeed in the game. Um, so I think, yeah, yeah, just playing games, keeping the pressure up and working together as a team to be successful. Okay, so what are your goals for the future? Uh, well, I want to uh, achieve my degree. Uh, obviously, that's why I'm going to university. Uh, but also, I'd love to work myself way, my, my way up within your company and, uh, like I say, work alongside my degree uh, and hopefully get me the first step on the career ladder within your company. And I, I'd, I'd love to work up and that, that is my dream. OK, that's great. So do you have any questions for me before we finish? Uh, yeah. Is the, do you think there's much room for progression or what progression rates do you see? So if I'm going in at a basic level... Uh, and like I say, I've expressed that I want to, to work up uh, in the career. Is there room for me to do that? Is there opportunities that I could take? Absolutely. So if you work hard, uh, you let us know. We, we can see, we can spot talent and we can uh, fast track you through the company if, if we see that talent there and the hard work. Absolutely. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Uh, thanks for interviewing with us today and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, Jessica, is it? Yes, hello. Hi, I'm Lewis and I'll be interviewing you today. So let's kick things off with you telling me a little bit about yourself, please. Um, so I'm a Capricorn um, and I love animals and the outdoors and um, I'm just a really bubbly person. OK, so why should we hire you? Um, well, I think, I think I'd be really good at the job. And I think um, I think people would really like to work with me. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what's your greatest strength? My greatest strength. Um. Uh, I think my greatest strength hmm, is I'm always really positive. Okay, that's great. What about your greatest weakness? Oh, um, I don't think I have any. No. No? Okay. Uh, so why do you want to leave the job that you're in now? Well, at the minute, <clears throat> I'm not really doing the job I want. Um, I just like work there because, you know, I've got to pay rent and bills. Um, and I don't really enjoy it. Um, I just go and like do what I need to do and then go home. So... I'm just looking for something that's going to make me happy. OK, so what about your salary ex expectations? How much are you hoping to earn with us? Um, well, probably a lot more than I'm already on right now. Uh, and um, I don't know, really, whatever you think would be best, I think. OK, so why do you want this job? Well, I really like off title. I think it sounds really impressive. Um, so that would look really good, um, you know, on my LinkedIn profile. And I think that, um, yeah, I think I think I just want the job, really. I think it looks really good. OK, so um, how do you handle stress and pressure? Um, how do I handle stress? Well, I'm really into meditating. Um, so I do that quite a lot. And um, I think about nice things if I'm getting stressed. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so what are your goals for the future? Sorry, my dog's barking. Um, what, can you say that again? Uh, yes. Uh, what are your goals for the future? My goals for the future, okay. Um, just to be really successful, I think, yeah. Okay, so uh, have you got any questions for me before we finish? Oh, have I got questions for you? Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, um, no. Okay, so thanks very much for the interview. Uh, we'll be in touch. Brill, thanks. OK, so you should have watched the videos now. Hopefully you've got loads of notes on what was good, what was bad. And hopefully we all we want to do is help you inform uh, how you do these things and help prepare you better for interviews that might come up. You might have interviews for jobs, for college, for university. The same rule applies to all interviews of what we said, the do's and the don'ts. Uh, so I would really like to know what you put as good, what you put as bad, who had the best interview, was it Jess, was it Lucy, who would you hire? Please log on to higherhorizons.co.uk forward slash ask, log on, ask any questions to any of our team, uh, I am on there as well, and just give me those answers about the interviews, I'd really love to know. Okay, so thank you for listening. Again, if you have any questions about anything, about job interviews, college, university, applications, just log on to higherhorizons.co.uk forward slash ask and we'll be there to answer your questions as quickly as we can. Thank you so much for tuning in to the session on mock interviews. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, we would really appreciate your feedback. So we have a small survey. They have the link on screen here. Uh, it will take you no more than two minutes, even if two minutes. And we'd really appreciate your feedback, any information, anything that we could do better, because uh, we want to make resources all about you and it's really going to help you. So please click the link. There'll be a link below the video as well. It'll take less than two minutes and we'd really value your feedback. But thank you very much. Have a nice day.